Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so much. So my birthday was in July and you might have seen the part one haul um, of the things that I got with my free gifts and everything from Sephora and Ulta and various places. I have a part two to that haul though because I have bought several things since then. Um, some of them might be a little familiar. Some of them might not be. First familiar thing is this moisturizing shea butter soap from Michael Design Works. This is black cherry. I bought two packages of it. I went back to Tuesday morning because it smells so good. I wanted to have like a year's supply of it. So I did pick up a couple of those. And this particular Tuesday morning also had this lovely little set that is a foaming hand soap and a lotion, hand lotion. So I was very excited to get that. It does come in this nice little um, baskety thing too. So picked up those, the soaps were $6.99 and the hand soap was $9.99 for the two. Also from Tuesday morning, because Tuesday morning is just one of my favorite stores. This is a larger soap, it is, was $4.99. It is the black cherry as well. Um, just a bigger bar of soap. Now, I did get some really fun things. We're going to start with some of those fun things. There is a store that I went to recently. Um, it is a little British store and it had all types of, I want to make sure I get all my British stuff, various things that are made in Britain or related to Britain. And I love British culture. Most of my favorite shows are actually British. Um, I love them so much. So I got this. This is the first thing. This is the Wise Owl. It is a ginger and lime soap and it has this cute little box and he looks like an owl. It's an actual owl um, with his little eyes and everything. It smells delicious and it is just darling. It is the toilet, the Somerset Toiletry Company. They had a cat one. They had maybe a dog one. I don't remember, but I love owls. Owls are one of my favorite things to collect. So that one definitely had to be. You've probably heard me talk about Alice in Wonderland once or twice on this channel too. And so when I found the philosopher, unemployed philosophers guild, they had this little soap, tiny little hand soap grows smaller and smaller with repeated use, then streaks away altogether. It just was fun. Another one of my things that it's an area of study, but it's also very much a cultural thing is Jane Austen. I love Jane Austen so much. So when they had their suds and sensibility, um, so I had to get that one as well. Speaking of Jane Austen, I just watched, I binged all of the Lizzie Bennet diaries here on YouTube. Has anybody watched them? Are you a Jane Austen fan? Let me know because oh, I need somebody to talk to about them because they were so, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. All right, then I found this. This is made in England. This is um, Naturally European Tonka and Mojito Rollerball Perfume. It's not going to really show up because it just doesn't want to. But it's a really interesting scent. It's very sweet, but it is very, like, summery. And that is why I got it because it is just, just very different. I'm going to... I tried to hold it up like you would be able to smell it. Wow, that was ridiculous. So that was really fun. Just very different little things that you wouldn't be able to find just anywhere. Um, so there you go. So those were fun. Then I went to the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I was good. There were things that I wanted that I did not buy. I really wanted the Charlotte Tilbury face palette and I also wanted her lipstick set. And I didn't have enough money for them the one day I went. And I was going to wait till payday and go back. And then I was like, no, I shouldn't. And then the day of, I was like, no, I want them. But the store was, the Nordstrom's that I was by for the summer was already closed. And I went online and the lipstick was no longer available online. So I didn't get it, which is fine. It saved me money. But I did get a couple of little things. The first is from Becca and Glam Glow. This is the Gravity Mud, what is this, firming treatment, and then also a um, 
Shimmery Skin Perfector and Rose Glow. I had to like read them. They are very tiny. This is what the Glam Glow mask looks like. And if the pictures that I saw of it are any indication, oh, yep, it is pink. Very, very, very pink. So there's that. Um, Glam Glow is really expensive. It is not really my favorite um, mask company, but I love Becca highlighters. And this is the only way to get this nice little one. So I got the set because of it. This set was $32, which is way overpriced, I will admit. But that's what it looks like. These retail for like $17 in Sephora for this size. So yeah, that's what I got. The other thing was also Becca. It is the Parisian or Passport to Glow Passport um, for Paris. I can't even talk right now. And this was $46, and I definitely think this one was actually worth it because this um, set has some nice stuff in it. It does come with a full-size lip gloss, and this is in the shade Rose Quartz. So full-size lip gloss right here. I should have, I will swatch that highlighter in just a second. It is, you can't really see it, but it's just a nice pinky glow. That's basically it. All right, this highlighter, that's what it looks like. Can you see it next to? Now you can just see the gloss. There you can kind of see it. It's a really pretty pinky glow. Um, so I was really happy to get that one. Back to the set at hand though. The next thing in here is the Soft Light Blurring Powder from Becca. This is a small size, um, so that will be good to try. I'll put that in my sample Saturday. Then a backlight priming filter. This is their um, primer. I really do like this primer a lot. So you got a pretty good size. This is a half an ounce primer. And then you get a full size um, skin, shimmering skin perfector. And these retail for $38. So for $46, it's a really good deal. I'm going to try to hide the mirror because look at what it looks like. It has the Eiffel Tower and the stars. It's called Parisian Lights. The hardest part about it is I am trying not to wear away the pretty pattern. So I've been trying to like dab it. My highlighter brush. It is the uh, highlighter I'm wearing today. I think this is like maybe their prettiest one that I have so far. I definitely, I mean, I love the highlighters that Becca does, but that one is just, it really takes the cake. Like it's just, it's so pretty. Hmm. I really like it. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This is something that my mom bought me at the British shop that we went to for my birthday. It's a little Harry Potter bag. It's like a little makeup case. Um, it has Ollivanders and um, the Leaky Cauldron, Platform 9 and 3 quarters, the Nimbus 2000, um, Potion Number 7, and Flourish and Blots. Um, just, it was so cute. I really, I really enjoyed it. All right. Oh, with that purchase at Nordstrom, I had just missed the Bobbi Brown, but I checked out at the Bobbi Brown counter because it was right next to the... Um, where the display was. So I got this lipstick. This is in the shade um, Lilac, and it's a beautiful color. I was really excited to get a full-size Bobbi Brown lipstick for free. I would That was really super nice. She, the lady did not have to do that by any means. So I thought that was pretty fantastic of her. All right, move that out of the way. I used my um, birthday at tart to get a few things as well because they sent me a 20-25% off coupon I can't remember um, and then also my birthday gift the picture that they showed for my birthday gift was a full size lip paint but it was a mini one that was what showed up at my door so this is in the shade goals I have so many of these that I'm actually going to put this in a future giveaway because I definitely don't need another um, lipstick from Tarte because um, I just I have so many and I have so many different colors and I have many many full sizes of them so that was my free 
my birthday gift, which was a little disappointing. I also got the Mermaid Skin Serum, which I'm excited to try from them. What I purchased was, this is the Sparkle Like You Mean It. This is a magnetic palette, and you might have noticed that I've become a bit obsessed with magnetic palettes from Tarte lately. I just ordered the Mermaid one, but this one was so sparkly and shaped like a flower and pink. And um, it has a huge mirror as well. That's what it looks like. It just was pretty. Um, and with my discount, it made it worth it to get. The reason I decided to go ahead and put in an order to Tarte though, was because I had missed a palette in stores and I really wanted it. And I don't even know why I wanted it, just I thought it was, it's just pretty. That's basically all. It is the Aspen Ovard palette. Um, and I don't even know who Aspen Ovard is. I know she's a YouTuber, but I don't know all of the YouTubers because there's so many. Um, but, ooh, I don't want to show you all my junk, but that is what it looks like. It is so pretty. I love the packaging. Um, and then inside, ooh, that is what the colors look like. It's just a really pretty neutral palette. It has blush and highlighter in it, so it's like a really good palette um, when you're trying to get ready for work in the morning and you're in a rush or you're going away for a weekend or something and you don't necessarily want to do bright green eyeshadow like I have on today. I just thought it was a nice palette for every day and it's just really pretty. Tuesday, or not Tuesday morning, TJ Maxx, I found a couple of things as well. First off is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Blush Trio. This was $9.99. And I wore this yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The packaging is really cool. I didn't realize that it had like an overlay. And you can see the symbol inside. But this is what the shades look like. I wore that middle one that's called Sugar. So, so pretty. That's what those look like. I didn't... Um, swatch the tart palette. If you want swatches, let me know and I will put those on Instagram. But those are the three blush shades. Um, I was really excited to find this at TJ Maxx, not gonna lie. I was also excited to find this um, Lamarck lipstick that hadn't been opened or used, which is very unusual. It is in Ray of Light REI. That is what the shade looks like. I am not gonna swatch this because I got this to put in my next giveaway. So, keep an eye open for that because that will be in a giveaway, as well as the chocolate bar semi-sweet palette that I just picked up. Ulta, I kinda of talked about this my last um, birthday video, but Ulta was doing a whole bunch of half price of items. And I went in and I picked up a couple things. This is one of them I didn't show last time because I got it afterwards. This is Prada Kiss. And this um, was $19.50 on sale. It is the one ounce size, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, I also got all my birthday points because it was my birthday month, which really helped as well. So that is what it looks like. It does say candy. And I like this one better than the original Prada. The original Prada is not my favorite scent. But yeah, thought that was a pretty nice little deal. Then, I know this is gonna be a long video, sorry guys. The bomb at Kohl's was on clearance and I was very excited because these actually were $8.80 instead of $11. I got two of the Instains and then I also got the shade Down Boy, which was $8.40 on clearance. Now, this is what Down Boy looks like. There it is. I know, they're all shades of pink. It's not that exciting, is it? Then we got, this one is Argyle, which I love because Argyle is one of my favorite um, sh patterns. It's a really pretty pink. Then we had Swiss Dot, which is what I'm actually wearing today. This one went on so pigmented. I really had to blend out with powder because I got way too much of this peachy color on 
my cheeks and it looked a little bit like that on my face which was not the prettiest thing um it was a little over overwhelming yeah so those I found I was so excited to find those at Kohl's and then you do earn your Kohl's dollars with it which really helps because now I have Kohl's dollars to buy other things not makeup things um that is for sure all right, we're going to move on to Sephora, and I'm going to show you my free gifts first. Um, I did a redeem for this set from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea cleanser, and then the Knockout Tingling Treatment, because I've heard really good things about this, um, but I have not tried it yet, so I thought that would be a good sample to get both of those. Ooh, that does smell like has some weight to it now this is what I bought I this was my big splurge for my birthday um, it is what I am wearing on my eyes in case you have been wondering um, and you've looked at my other videos that I've had it is what I am wearing on my eyes um, yeah it is the Natasha Denona tropic palette now, I will tell you that when this thing went on sale, I was like, <gasps> because I've really wanted to try a Natasha Denona palette, but these are $129 palettes, which is so much, like just so, so much. And you can talk about grams and all of that. That's a lot of money to drop on one product. And I'm just like, no, that's a lot. Um, so when it went down to 75, I was like, oh. and then I debated and I debated. And then I saw on Wednesday, cause weekly wows are Thursday through Wednesday that it was going to be on a second week. And I was like, okay, I don't have to make a decision right away. And it was still there. And I was like, so I thought about it. I read reviews. I looked at videos and I decided, um, at the very last minute, just before the deadline was going to end to get it this is what it looks like it is a really big palette I will not deny that um, the shades in it are very large as well um, the pans um, I do have exotic on my eyes and then above that I have what is this one Sahara so or do I have fake tan I might have no I think I have Sahara um, I have been using it quite a bit quite a bit twice I wore it no three times three times yesterday I did just a look with this these two shades and that turned out really nice as well um, I think they're really pretty I do really like the shades the formula has been pretty good so far um, would I buy the Lila palette or um, the Sunset palette? Probably not, no, because um, $129, there's a lot of other things I could get. Um, almost everything else in this haul I probably could have bought for that. Um, so it was a splurge. It would not probably be a splurge I would make again, um, but I'm not, I'm not regretting it, so that's good. All right, we're getting closer from Costco and I haven't figured out how to open this thing yet. So just forgive me that it's in this giant plastic thing. This is the My Burberry blush. This was a gift from my mom um, because I saw it and I was like, oh, and I was like, I don't have enough money for it right now because I just bought the Tasha Denona palette. This was $49 or $54.99 um, at Costco. Costco is a great place to get fragrance if you know what you like. Now, this is one that had been on my wish list that I knew I had wanted to get. I can get it for about the same price as Zulily, but Zulily does charge shipping on top of that. So this was a better deal because I didn't have to pay that additional shipping. Um, so I'm excited to get that. I do have my Burberry and my Burberry Black. Black was my favorite till they came out with blush and then blush just kind of blew it out of the water for me. I really, really like that scent. All right. Last store that I went to was Macy's. This is the free gift with purchase I got. It is this very, um, rose gold makeup bag. And I'll show you 
what it looks like. It does have places for lots of brushes, um, like layers upon layers of brushes in there. And then also a zip pocket over here. It's a really nice makeup bag, actually, <coughs> especially since it was free. All right. In the goodie bag. I got only a couple things, but I did get just enough to get that order. Um, Macy's always has great goodie bags of samples and stuff, um, and then gifts with purchase. So with this one, I got Fairy Moogler um, Alien, Prada Usport, Luna Rosa. I don't know anything. Oh, it's a men's fragrance, so I probably I will definitely be passing that on. As well as the John Paul Gaultier La Mail and the Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. This is one of my favorite scents, but I do already own it. So um all but the alien I will be passing on, which is fine. I am happy to share with friends and family. Um, uh, not family. Nobody in my family um really likes this stuff. So um, then I got another one of the MAC Prep and Pine Prime and Radiant Yellow. I just finished this and it was in an empties, which is either up or will be coming shortly. Um, but I got that because I ordered two things from the Aaliyah collection because they were on sale because Macy's was having this fantastic like Christmas in July sale. So I did end up getting the bronzer from the Aaliyah collection, which was something I had been interested in. It's so pretty. Look at that. It has their signature. Um, I don't even want to swatch it because it's just so pretty. And I don't know if I will use it, to be honest. It might just sit there to look pretty. So I got that. And then I also got one of the lipsticks. This is the Hot Like. Because I decided I just really wanted one of these pretty tubes of lipstick. Because I did get a lip gloss. This is the red shade. I will swatch it um, because MAC lipsticks, I love. I really liked all of them that I got. This is um, an amplified cream. So I got those, and then with that, I got this bandana that says MAC and Aaliyah. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because one, I don't want to get lipstick on it or any of my other makeup that's around, and two, I just kind of want to preserve it because... That's who I am. And then finally, I finished my Too Faced Life's a Festival collection because they were on sale and they were cheaper than I could get them anywhere else. So I got one of the Unicorn Tears um, Unicorn Horn highlighting sticks. This is the blue one. I already have the pink one. And yes, there's been lots of things said about what it looks like. Um, but I am more impressed with how it acts as a highlighter. Can you see how it picks up the different colors? I just think they're really, really pretty on the face. So that is why I picked up that one. And then I picked up the bronzer. I had done this as an online order because a lot of these things um, were gifts with purchase online or they didn't have them all in one store. And this one came completely and utterly smashed like brown powder everywhere it was awful I will turn him right side up so you can see him it's the unicorn tears iridescent mystical bronzer which was just so darn cute um, with that little unicorn in there so I had to go and find another Macy's that had it and exchange it because it was smashed to smithereens and I will say Macy's return policy online is not the best because then you have to, they refund you your money and then you have to repurchase it. So if you've got it on sale, you can't re-get it on sale, um, which is really frustrating. So that is it. I am done shopping for a while. I am heading back to school because school starts, um, meetings start next week from when I'm filming this, this I don't know when this is getting up. And then school starts the week after and we have completely new curriculum and it's curriculum by committee, which is stressful and trying to keep up with everything. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to school starting. 
Um, I have been enjoying my job this summer. If you don't know, during the summer I work at American Girl in the doll hair salon and I love it. It is a fantastic job. I'm not going to talk about it because like there's all types of things that we sign. Um, but yeah, that's what I do in the summer and it's so, it's so much less stressful than teaching um, a college course. So let me know how your summer has gone. If you feel it's the end of summer as well um, or if you are going to squeeze some more summer out of what is left I, if that makes sense I hope you're all having a fantastic day if you haven't um, already subscribed if you wouldn't mind subscribing it would mean so very much to me and I will talk to you guys next time bye